Hi, I'm Chet Cheney with Syngenta. Welcome to our crop tour. We're going to be taking a closer look at this tour in a few minutes. But first, I want to talk to you about the multi-pass complex, a group of insects that cause $1.1 billion worth of damage to corn growers in America each year. That's billion with a B, as in, boy, that's a lot of money. The complex is made up of corn earworm, black cutworm, western bean cutworm, and fall armyworm. Today we're going to focus on corn earworm. Follow me, I've got somebody I want you to meet. Roy Parker, extension entomologist at Corpus Christi. I've done nothing but think about insects for about 42 years, every day. Growers definitely see corn earworm as a problem. Uh, they, they know that every year they see this damage of nearly every ear having some damage at the tips of the ears, and some years it's worse than that, and it extends down the ear. But their, one of their big concerns is Aspergillus flavus development and other fungi. Other fungi will develop in, this, in these damaged ears. Aspergillus flavus is not the only toxin we're, that we're concerned about. And so they are definitely, would like to see hybrids that do not have this type damage. Dr. Parker, you took some samples from this trial yesterday. Would you share some of the numbers with us right now? This non-VT hybrid had 100% uh, of the ears damaged by corn earworm. And the, the, the single gene VT hybrid had 93% of the ears damaged. Okay. And the Viptera hybrid had 1.7% damage, which amounted to one damage on one ear out of 60, and it was not that, that great a damage. damage. And I hope that this will reduce the, the levels, especially levels. get well, good adapted hybrids plus this level of, of caterpillar control, and I think it'll reduce it, but we'll have to measure that. Okay. Now that you know more about the multi-pest complex, the damage it can cause, and new options that are available, contact your Syngenta seed rep for more information.